Hello everybody and welcome back to multiplayer. So today we're going to start off by harvesting the sugar cane, which has been here since the start. It's just we haven't been harvesting because it, it didn't really fit in with this particular area, this part of the world. But it is time now to harvest it and then we'll just plough the crop up. It would regrow, but we don't really want it to. So let's just position the trailer here. I'm pretty sure we will be able to unload straight into the trailer. At least that's what I'm hoping. Um, but yes, we are going to need some big machines. Because it's actually a fairly large field, as you can see. Chainsaw is getting the first harvester. He's already en route. We will get the second harvester. So I did actually go into the sugarcane technology category on ModHub to see if there were any new harvesters or other machines. And there's only really trailers. Yeah, trailers are pretty good, but... Yeah, not really quite as, uh, you know, <laughs> exciting to go for as a new machine. Because there's really not that many sugarcane harvesters in the game. It would be nice to have more, but then obviously it does take a lot of time to create a mod. And maybe there aren't any more. Maybe there are only just a couple self-propelled sugarcane harvesters. I really don't know. I don't know much about sugarcane at all. Anyway, yep, we'll head to the field and we can start harvesting alongside chainsaw. And I think even with two harvesters, it's still going to be a bit of a job. Okay, so here we are. So the way we're going to do this is we're going to take the headland off first. I'll drive the traction trailer. Chainsaw can be in his harvester. And then as soon as we have the space, this one can go onto a worker and we can hopefully unload as we go. It looks like my trailer has moved. Uh, where are we? This one here? Oh no, Chainsaw's already in it. Okay, so this is proving tricky. Only the headland, just because there's no space at all. The more we go around, the better. The first lap of the headland was painful because these bushes here have got collisions, which is good. You would expect them to have a collision in real life. <laughs> it's not going to be invisible. Um, but yeah, since we've got to be alongside the whole time, I am stuck again. It does make it kind of uh, painful to do. So once this headland is removed, it's going to be so much easier. I did suggest ploughing or cultivating just a, I don't know, a six metre border, just so we actually have space to move. But as you can see, it is filling up quickly. Very quickly. So as soon as we have the space, it's going to be fine. But yeah, no more sugarcane on this map after we've done this. And talking about this map, I'm going to run a vote on how many episodes you think we should have. Like, I'm enjoying it, but I know that quite a lot of people would also like to have the competitive version back. So there's going to be three options. Ten episodes... 15 episodes or 20 episodes that's when we'll change please do vote using the link down below it's in the description so um, yeah we will see but yeah as I said the next map that we do will be competitive I'm going to make sure it's a map which is really laid out to be competitive okay so I'm going to time lapse this because this headland is just painful.
I can remember now, we used to use that adapted combine harvester. It could harvest sugarcane, which wasn't realistic, but it obviously speeded everything up. Had a huge tank, a big header, and we could just get through a field like this in no time. Sugarcane is good, but I would like it sort of in the right place. If, if I was going to do sugarcane seriously, if I was going to plant it myself, I would probably choose a nice open area, a fairly rectangular field or, or square field, uh, without any curves or obstacles in the way. And yeah, looking back, I probably should have just uh, said let's plow this up, but it would have been seen as, as quite wasteful, and that's true, it, it is very wasteful just to plow a crop up. But yeah, maybe, maybe now that we've got the headland removed it's going to be much easier. I don't think the red trailer was helping, that was really not uh, making it easy at all. But we'll keep going until this is full, then we'll go empty and we'll see how much money we can make. Right, so as you can see we are 96% full. I think it would be good to try the workers once we've unloaded. And since the other trailer is very large and is not really designed to go underneath the conveyor belt, I think it would be a good idea to get a, an actual sugarcane trailer and then cart it to the big trailer. As for this one, yeah it works. It's a little bit tricky, but yeah, it, it does It does actually uh, at least fit underneath the conveyor belt. I haven't actually picked anything up yet, <laughs> it's still 96%. Okay. Come on. Yeah, once it gets full it just sort of gives up. I think we're going to have to call that full. Well, the price is increasing. The garden centre currently has the best price, which is only up the road. But it will be uh, quite tricky to pull this amount of weight up the hill. It's going to be really interesting to discover what crops are going to be new for FS22. I'm really hoping there's going to be peas, carrots, and well, any kind of vegetable really, because at the moment it's just sort of cereal crops and some and beans, a few root crops, but it's not really the greens, broccoli, peas, beans, as in green beans. Um, yeah, it would be very interesting. And the carrots, of course, adding to the root crops. Also, onions. We do have some in multi fruit, which is very nice to have. But we don't really have the machines to go with it, which is sort of using a modified potato harvester or sugar bee harvester. Which is a good workaround, but it's just not 100% realistic. Now, this trailer is only 94% full. Still pretty full, but it just wasn't taking any more. Same as the other trailer. How do we get into the garden centre? I think this is the way. Okay, right, yeah, we'll get this tips. Have to get all the way around the back. And we'll put them on a worker. I'll pick up a sugarcane trailer which will tow with the Massey Ferguson, the new one. And I'm really hoping it's going to work well. If not, I'm just going to be so tempted to get a cultivator and just cultivate it all in. Okay, what's the money doing? It's not bad. Yeah, it's good. Yeah, it is wasteful just to cultivate it up. Certainly the easy option. Okay, so £19,125. It could be worse. Haven't even been able to use my harvester yet. Now that we've removed the headlands, it really should be easier for the workers, but they do still like to crash. Follow me would have been good, actually. Very good. See, so yeah, we have the Massey Ferguson 5455 here, which was the highest spec of that series. There's also the older drop nose, the 5400 drop nose, which I love. Very nice. I haven't actually used it yet. Uh, when I say I love it, I mean in real life. I'm sure it would be very good in the game as well. So, yeah, behind a... Or no, I should say in front of a sugarcane trailer, this should be a nice little setup. 
Here we are. Yeah, I'm really wishing that I had gone for the different options. You can have a beacon or two beacons on this if you want to. You can also have the extended mud guards, which looks really good. You know, where you have the black plastic continuing on. Uh, but yeah, I went for 100% standard. And that's quite a big trailer. Pulling that uphill might be tr uh, very tricky. I just was trying to go for something which was going to keep us going for the longest without realising uh, that it was going to be that big. There are smaller sugarcane trailers. Well, if the worst comes to the worst, we can just put it on the stair tractor. Stair tractor. Uh, anyway, we won't know without trying. Of course, the other potential issue is not knowing ooh, how, um, <laughs> in what direction the worker is going to go in. Wait, that was mine. No, I've, mine's been taken away. Well, we can get it set up. Not at that angle, though. That's going to become very tricky. I'm sure it's not going to continue. Nah, it's just going to cause issues. So just for the first time, I'm going to have to go across the field. I really hope it works. But, yeah, it might not do. I think the capacity of this trailer is 38,000 litres. So that's not bad when you compare it to the, the yellow trailer, for example. I think that one is 32 ish or 31. Well, at least we can see the tractor again. It just had to be done. We had to drive through the crop to get this opening. Um, yeah, but the, the harvester has got a serious traction issue. It just sort of gets halfway and then just sits there spinning its tracks, which is really weird. It's like it can't actually cope with this field. There we go. Is that? There it goes. And it just sits there. It's not quite as bad this time. The previous time it was uh, it was terrible. It just sat there going, spinning its tracks, doing nothing at all. Right. Okay. So yeah, we're making an opening, and chainsaw is over there doing the same thing. There's nothing fast about this, and we probably won't be doing it again. The sure we came uh, for quite some time. I don't mind doing it small scale, but then you, you kind of need to be big scale to make enough money. It is also quite sensitive when turning around, so we do need to make sure we align the tractor properly. It looks good though, look at that setup, looks amazing. And the mighty Massey is doing very well. No issues at all towing this amount of weight. And also, because yeah, it's got such a high capacity, we haven't even had to go over to the big trail yet. The unfortunate thing is, because I'm starting at the narrow end of the field, uh, we're going to be uh, turning around an awful lot. So that is why I keep time lapsing, because it looks best as a time lapse. Chainsaw sort of got the better deal over there but it'll still have the issue of it struggling to turn around. Anyway, the further that way we go, the longer it gets each time.
this is exactly my point. It messes around so much. I don't know why, because the combine harvesters in this game, they're, they're great. They just do their thing. With the sugarcane harvest, you have to keep backing up with the trailers to go underneath it. It's frustrating. Um, and yeah, that is the same on any map. It always happens. So, yeah, it's probably... This is me being very honest here. Um, out of all the crops in the game, my least favourite to actually work with. Uh, the crop itself, obviously good crop. Just the way that it's done is my least favourite because it's very slow and, as I said, in some ways frustrating. I like doing potatoes and sugar beet and all those multi-fruit crops and obviously cereal crop harvesting, that, that's always good fun. Wheat and barley and oats. There's chainsaw. <laughs> you can just see the conveyor belt or whatever it's called on these, throwing all the chaff off the top. Okay, so we have to wait again. To keep stopping. I don't know if it's thinking or what. I, I really don't know. Are we ready? Can we move? I think we can. So yeah, we're munching away at the field. But it is slow, as you can very clearly see. Now we need to wait for it to back up because its tracks are slipping. Maybe the uh, vehicle enhanced mod would help because you can put it into four wheel drive and everything. Obviously, it doesn't have four wheels, but I'm sure the idea would work. Well, Let's continue. When we have another full trailer, I'll, I'll stop the time lapse and we can hopefully get that trailer load taken over to the store. I think that will just about fill it. Well, once again, we are pretty much full. Try and get 100%. Uh, we should really be able to get 100% with these because they're designed for sugar cane. Just got to stay aligned. And there we go. 28,000 litres. Did I say 38,000 before? I meant 28. Um, which means it's just slightly less than the yellow trailer's capacity. So, press J. Lifts it up. And then we press K to tip. It's PC, obviously. Uh, and, yeah, I don't know if that's going to be a, uh, a full load for the red trailer. Oh, it is. It is a full load. So, we shall go and empty that. Yeah, the capacity of this is 28,000. We can actually get out of the field at the top here. We'd have to go all the way around. But it is still a very heavy load. And I'm actually really impressed that we've managed to get this much done. It has taken a long time to get to this stage. Two harvesters, two people. Well, technically four people, if the AI were real. Here comes Chainsaw. And yes, I think we can go a little bit faster than six. Let's see what speed we can do. About 11. As for the far piece, I don't know if we're going to do it. I think we've already, already achieved something here. We're up to £79,000. Those harvesters weren't cheap to rent, though. I think it was £17,000 each. 
plus hourly fees. I didn't think it would take more than an hour, but it is going to. But well, it has. It already has done, I think. Um, so yeah, th that's another expense. The hourly fee is probably around two or three thousand pounds. They're expensive to run, but at least we don't have another daily fee. We'll get rid of them. So, what's this going to be? About £19,000. The price was increasing, so it might be a bit more than our first load. And also, this is a full load. £20,622. So, yeah, I think it's good. It's like Sugar Bee, really. I think it's not worth that much for every 1,000 litres or, or for every tonne. But you get a lot of it, so it adds up just means quite a bit of carting. Anyway, let's continue, let's get this field done. Let's get it out of the way. I think I'll just park the trailer over here. And it never harvests those pieces, it always misses those. Uh, right, so, back into here. As you've seen, we still have 4,000 litres in here. I'll get that emptied straight away. ready to continue. finished off. The workers were messing around. So yeah, you can't beat a human doing it. My harvester is still in the way. Uh, I don't know if it's all going to fit in there, but it doesn't matter if it doesn't all fit, since the other trailer has plenty of space in it. Okay. Just go over here. As I said, I'm guessing we're finishing off this. We might do the piece over there. But I'm done with it. I'm, I'm uh, more than happy to call that a day. Oh, look, the tracks are slipping again. Come on, you mighty thing. Yeah, if only we'd done it with the combine harvester, the, the modified combine harvester. That would have been good. Oh, come on. Tracks, they have traction. What if I stop it and start it? no difference. Okay. Well, I'm sure eventually it will grab and it will just go. And that doesn't seem to want to go. I'd be better off going to the top and then <laughs> turning around and coming back down again. I suppose at this speed you can appreciate things more. You can see how the top right at the front is shredding the, uh, the leaves off. Didn't really notice that when it's harvesting. Okay, there we go. We're done. It's limped home. To the trailer. Let's go and sell our final load. It's good to be here again. Our final load. So I suppose we have made what we made, about £80,000 in total. It was worth doing. Definitely worth doing. Uh, just not the fastest of jobs ever. So there's not going to be much in mine. £3,921. And chainsaws looks to be about 80% full, maybe 70% full. Let's just see what he gets. At least we're back into the 100,000s again. 
we finished with £111,359 and he brought in 9509 Okay, we're going to leave it there. Thank you so much for watching, everybody. Hope you enjoyed the video. And until next time, see you again soon. Bye for now.